Hello, my name's Jo. I'm an allergy specialist nurse and your doctor has advised that your child carries an adrenaline auto-injector pen. This video has been designed to show you how to use your adrenaline auto-injector pen, how to recognise the signs and symptoms and what the treatment is advised for those signs and symptoms. This video will be going through your allergy action plans that will be provided for you. The allergy action plan will contain your child's name, their allergies and the different symptoms that they may experience, how you would treat them and the dose of medication you would give them. In the blue box for the mild to moderate reaction, the symptoms may include a rash, an itch, hives, swelling or redness, tummy pain or vomiting, or if your child suddenly displays a change in behaviour. If any of these symptoms were to occur, the treatment would be to stay with your child, administer the antihistamine, the dose of which is written within the blue box. The red box describes symptoms of an acute severe allergic reaction that is known as anaphylaxis. These symptoms can include one or more of the following. A persistent cough, a hoarse or change of voice, difficulty in swallowing, noisy breathing or difficulty in breathing. They may get sleepy or they may become unresponsive. These symptoms can occur with or without the mild to moderate allergic symptoms. If any of these symptoms were to occur, the child needs to stay where they are and help needs to come to them. They need to lie down with their legs raised or sit in a chair with their legs raised and then you need to give the adrenaline auto inject a pen. Then you need to dial 999 and say child anaphylaxis. After dialing 999, you need to stay with the child. If the child's symptoms have improved, they are to remain lying or sitting with their legs raised. If the child has not improved or their symptoms are worsening, after five minutes you must administer the second adrenaline auto-injector pen in the other leg. If you are unsure as to which box your child's symptoms fall into, always give the adrenaline auto-injector pen. It is a safe medication and it's better to give it when it's not needed than to not give it if it is needed. I will now be showing you how to administer your adrenaline auto-injector pen. Currently, there are two types of adrenaline auto-injectors in circulation. I will be showing you the one that is most commonly used at the moment, which is the EpiPen. They both have the same method in taking the safety cap off and administering it into the same part of the leg. I will show you in real time how to administer your EpiPen. Take it out of the case, hold it like this, blue cap off, into the leg. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 and take it away. So let's go through it step by step. Your adrenaline auto injector will be in a case. You need to take it out of the case. On your adrenaline auto injector it's important to note that there's an expiry date and a little clear window. You need to ensure that your adrenaline auto injector is in date and you need to make sure the little window is clear and not discoloured. You hold it like you would be riding a bike. The blue top goes towards the sky and the orange bottom towards your thigh. You then take the blue cap off. You hold your adrenaline auto injector above the outside air of the top of your thigh and you can administer it through clothing. And you press it into the leg until you hear the click. Once you hear the click, you say 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. It's important to note that the EpiPen is three seconds and the Jex pen is 10 seconds. You take the pen away once you're done and the pen will have a guard over the needle so there are no sharps. You then call 999 and say child anaphylaxis. If after five minutes your child's condition is not improving or it's getting worse, you give the second adrenaline auto injector and you do it in exactly the same way but you do it in a different leg. Further information on how to care for your adrenaline auto injector can be found on the manufacturer's website. I hope this information has been useful and thank you for listening.